Hi there, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have a gorgeous 80 degrees outside and it's just beautiful. And thank you for watching this clip. Today we are solving a trig equation. As you know, when we solve a trig equation, we need to convert everything into one trig function. Then we can solve it as a regular polynomial. It turned out this case, if you're trying to convert it, it gets really, really messy, messy quickly because there's no square terms you can convert it back and forth. It turned out there's a, a lot easier method if you can spot it, which I didn't. But once you can see or you've been experienced it one more time, and then next time you can see it, you can actually factor this one. What I'm drawing here is I'm drawing how I usually factor it up and down to multiply. I have this term here. And then I have a minus one here and positive one here. Once again, up and down when I multiply, I have this term. Now I'm going to draw two lines, cross, and I'm going to add them together. So sine theta times minus one, I have a minus sine theta. This one, I have a plus cosine theta. And what do you know? Oh boy, I'm making a mess here. Let's make this one a theta. This is a cosine. And what do you know? I have exactly the cross term. Okay, so my answer is going to be read as sine theta plus one times cosine theta minus one is equal to zero. Look at that. Isn't that much more simple than we thought? At least a lot more simpler than I thought. So from here, we're going to have two solutions. We have sine theta equal to minus one as a solution. I'm setting this one equal to zero. And then I have a cosine theta equal to one as a solution as well. From here, I'm going to just draw sine curve. As the Chinese say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So minus one is right over here and going up, I have a three pi over two here. Now because the sine and all the trig functions are repeats itself, so you gotta sort of keep in mind what happens outside of this zero to two pi interval. Okay, so our solution is equal to three pi over two plus 2m pi, where n is equal to natural numbers, or if you want to write it out, it's 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2, and so far, so on and so forth. Or if you want to get fancy, you can use m belongs to the set of integers. Okay, now let's try on this side. We have cosine starts with 1, dips below, and it goes back to positive one, so it drips down again on both sides. All right, so our solution, it looks like it's two, actually they're the same one, in that um, if my theta is equal to two m pi, okay, n can be equal to zero, and that's this point here. Uh, if n is equal to one, I have two pi here, n equal to plus minus one, I have uh, either side, I have plus minus pi, plus minus two pi, and n equal to plus minus two, so on and so forth. So let's write it n is belongs to the set of integers. All right. So it turned out to be a pretty easy problem to solve. I think the trick is to spot. You can actually just factor this. It comes with experience, which I didn't have until today. So. Thanks for whoever asked this question. All right, I hope it's clear. And please leave a comment on the YouTube for me. And let me know if it helped you or if you liked the video. Any comments, I would appreciate it. Until next time, have a confident day.